some very tasty Greek yogurt comes in nice glass jars. I add the yogurt and save the 8 oz jar with cover for making a terrarium. Wash the jar clean. This jar is about 7 cm diameter and about 6 cm deep. I'm going to use this jar for making a small terrarium that can be placed anywhere. First, uh, let's put some gravel to cover the bottom of the jar. Add dechlorinated water to cover the gravel. Now let's add a layer of sphagnum pit mod. 3-4 hip teaspoons should be enough for this size jar. Pit moss has great water retaining qualities. And the excess of water will stay in the gravel layer. I like to add a piece of tree bark that would serve as a feeding spot for creatures. Tree bark also retains water. Now we can add live moss. I've been growing land moss in high humidity on the platform in my enclosed aquarium. This land moss can grow underwater as well. Mosses look very nice in terrariums. Lava rock or any rock can be used for decoration. Let's cover the terrarium and let it sit overnight for the peat moss to get moist. I check the terrarium the next day. The top part of the peat moss layer is still dry. Let's moist it more and let it sit one more night. The next day I pick a couple dozen springtails from one of my old well-established cultures. You can pick springtails one by one using a soft brush. Or simply shake them off uh, from the feeding spot. You can see the new culture by splitting the medium of the old culture as well. I keep three different strains of springtails in the same enclosures. For this terrarium I separated orange springtails one by one using a soft brush. The terrarium is ready and seeded with orange springtails on January 15, 2024. Let's feed springtails with a bit of cereal flake. Also I set up another terrarium in exactly the same way on the same day. I feed springtails three times a week with uh, cereal flakes or baker's yeast. Three weeks late on February 8th, I noticed a lot of orange baby springtails. It was a pleasant surprise. Usually it takes 3-4 months for the population of orange springtails to grow. Feeding spots are the best place for observing springtails. In the following weeks I set up a couple more terrariums. In the following months I've been transferring adult orange springtails into new terrariums prepared in advance. Using a soft brush is the easiest way to pick orange springtails one by one. And it takes a dozen or more springtails to establish a new colony. I prefer Cheerios cereal for feeding my springtails. It's odorless compared to any type of yeast. One flake is enough for one feeding of about 10 cultures of this size. I feed springtails only 3 times a week. Overfeeding brings problems. Mold is one of the most common problems that could destroy the terrarium with all springtails in it. I will explain how I deal with mold in future videos. Avoid growth of mold by feeding less. That's simple and the most effective. Three months after the initial setup I added more tree bark. Tree bark makes it easier transferring springtails into other containers. Five months later in May 2024 I have more than a dozen cultures of orange springtails you can see here. Also, I keep white and silver springtails in the same containers with orange springtails. Mix of three different species in each container. Adult orange springtails are the largest and the most noticeable among all. 
all my terrariums and aquariums get only indirect sunlight from the window. Orange sprintellas are nice and simple to take care of pets. Funny moving around cheetahs they are. Have fun and happy sprint tales.